line the vehicle before asking the question from Lisa. My vehicle is a little bit skewed. Yeah, it's so perfect. Uh, Lisa wants to know how far can this uh, rider see that can able to see Jika from that distance. Uh, Runner, they have a very poor eyesight, but these ones are aware that they are accompanied by the vehicle. Because of that, they can able to see us from that distance. We are not far from them, less than 30 meters away from them, approximately 20 meters from here. So because they check the vehicle, they are a lot more relaxed. It's one of the reasons why they do this in front of us. As we all know that uh, run is a species that um, eyesight is not good. It's also recommended from all the books that you might read about wildlife. The only thing with these guys is the sense of smell and the sense of hearing. It's very, very, very good. It's a top class. They can track one another by the smell. They can hear while we hear talking. They can able to hear us so loud and clear. And they know our present is one of the things this runner are not uh, actually bother with our voice or vehicle because we have joined them since from the dam and they're really aware now that we're always accompanying them wherever we go. Same as elephant, a very dangerous thing when you approach the breeding head of elephant. If when you switch off the engine and you just roll in into the breeding head of elephant, promise you. It's a high risk, 90% of risk. So you have to be, the engine must be on and come and introduce yourself who you are to the animals because we introduce ourselves with vehicle. But if you come so silent and they can't hear that noise, you make the species not to be so much comfortable with your presence. They can turn back and fight because they can't know what, what is approaching. It could be other elephant, it could be other runner that's approaching here. So they have to hear the engine. Not to rev the engine, never ever do that in, in, in the sighting. It could be elephant, it could be rhino, it could be anything that might be here. The professional have to uh, come while the engine running gently and smooth and be on a sighting. So easy on that way, you are able to yeah, enjoy the sighting. For instance, if those rhino there are still busy, if I can roll the vehicle forward to start starting the engine, all of them they're gonna run away. Sometimes they might run away and turn back and check whatever it is. If it's a vehicle, we introduce ourselves by the sound of the vehicle and they know that on a daily basis they know that vehicles they come we can hear the sound. They will come and get to see us and move. There's nothing gonna happen. But if you roll with we'll that quiet, you introduce another animal that's coming in, which they're not experienced with it, so they'll turn back and fight because they don't know what is coming close by. So to answer the question of um, Lisa, runner eyesight is, is not good. Uh, they can see us, they are aware that we hear, they can hear us, there's reason they're more relaxed. You can see them don't care about the vehicle, they really do the thing that they need to do. This is a part of the exercise, it's not a fight for them, they really exercise to be strong. One day they have to fight, they know that. the birds as the referees say. Eh? Huh? It's got the birds as the referees. The referees? The birds are the referees of the of the mock fight. Yeah. How long are they gonna keep this on? Well, it's up to them whether they feel like um they can do if they feel like going they can go. If they feel like uh, doing more they can do that. They drive around because of the mother that on the, the body is more look like black. It's a white rhino. Black rhino is very, very aggressive. A little bit smaller compared to this one and they've got the hooked lips. Always the head is a little bit uh, 45 degree angle. A little bit up. This one always the head is pointing down because they got a heavy, heavy, massive head. As you can see, especially the males. Look like the head uh, size is very, very big. It's also heavy. 
and it designed for the species is square lip jaws. It designed to graze around in the area. This is a grass mower. It's something like hippo. The way if the runner, if the you shoot comes out here, if runner been here, you can really see where the runner has been. It can really open up a path because of the the square lip jaws that they have. They can able to uh, really collect a lot of grass into the area. Such amazing species. Look at uh, the sterling there. They're also accompanying the species along. Hoping they're going disturb, to disturb a lot of insect that this species might benefit. And also insect that carries by rhino. We find this species they can really enjoy that. They'll try to stay behind because they can attract more insects. Sometimes it can be uh, ticks, as you can see, the coming so close. It could be flies that they like to enjoy and that. Be careful, Stalin. Coming so close to the feet. Said, I mean, if you really approach this species, the engine must be always on for them to know that uh, it's still the vehicle that's around here, so they can be more relaxed. See that they're always playing. It's not that serious. It's not a fight. As you can see, the way they run is to really playing with one another, enjoying the company being together. Because most of the time, if one is in a love, there's not no much activities that we will do, and most especially when it take over from a dominant ship, there's no time to play. The only time that you will have is the time to take care of the fuel and protect the area.